Craig has tonight off. A man is facing felony charges locally and in North Carolina after police say he abducted a 14 year old girl from a Warren County car dealership yesterday afternoon. WCPO 9 News reporter Valerie Lyons is live outside the Warren County Sheriff's Office. So Valerie, authorities say the girl had been chatting with this man online. Yeah, Tanya, it's unclear for how long, but 38 year old Brandon Pritchard lives in North Carolina and authorities say Warren County Sheriff's Office, in fact, says that he had driven here to pick the girl up and he'd almost made it all the way back to his home about an eight hour drive away when authorities pulled him over. Attention all Claremont County cars and departments be on the lookout for an abduction victim. An hours long search ends in an out of state arrest Thursday night at around 10 p.m. Authorities in North Carolina taking 38 year old Brandon Pritchard into custody after spotting his truck driving on the interstate. Deputies pulled Pritchard over in Cleveland County about an hour and a half from Charlotte. The sheriff's office there says they found a passenger too. The 14 year old girl Pritchard allegedly abducted from Warren County hours earlier. This female got into a red F-150 King Ranch truck, Texas license plate. The two were previously seen leaving the King's Auto Mall in Deerfield Township at around 2 p.m. Local, state and federal agencies swiftly joining in the effort to track them down. Male driver suspect Kyle Brandon, date of birth 819-1985-59-160, brown, hazel, black, gray hat, sunglasses, green shirt, and blue jeans. History of violent tendencies in prior military training and access to weapons. Authorities say they did find a gun on Pritchard, and he now faces three charges in North Carolina, including kidnapping and human trafficking of a child. He sits in Cleveland County Jail on a $1 million bond. Uh, Pritchard is also charged with one count of custody interference in Warren County, but he won't face that charge here until he is extradited. And I asked how long that process could take. Warren County tells me it, it really depends on how quickly Pritchard's case moves over in North Carolina. It could be months, could be longer. Tanya. All right, so Valerie, we know the girl was found with Pritchard in North Carolina. Do we know when she will be coming home? Yeah, last I checked with Warren County officials here, they were saying that they were actively working on trying to bring her back to her family. They did tell me there's no update since they told me that, but they did say that they were anticipating that reunion by the end of the day. So we'll see. But for now, live in Lebanon, Valerie Lyons, WCPO 9 News. Okay, Valerie, thank you.